What's up guys? Today we'll try the camera performance of this Black Shark 3. For now, we'll be trying the front camera and let's see if this is good for vlogging. The camera setting is at 720p and 30 frames per second. And let's try to walk now. By the way, the time is around 7 a.m. So it's under the sunlight. And then... Let's go back. Try the stability of this camera. And that's it. Ten seconds later. Now we're gonna try the other setting which is 1080p and 30 frames per second. Let's try again to walk outside. Expose ourselves under the sunlight. And then move. This. And let's go back inside. Test again the stability of this Black Shark 3. Alright. One shift later. This time we'll try the back camera of this phone when it comes on shooting videos. The setting is at 720p and 30 frames per second. By the way, I'm just holding the phone and the ultra wide mode is off. Let's try moving. Let's go here. Let's try moving and let's go again outside. And go back inside. That's it. 12 seconds later. This time we turn on the ultra wide angle mode. And let's try to move again. Let's go outside. And go back inside. One minute, 37 seconds later. This time, the setting is 1080p and 30 frames per second. Again, we turn off our ultra wide angle. Let's move. And let's go again outside. And go back inside.
That's it. A few moments later. Now we're gonna try it with the uh, ultra wide angle mode on. Let's move again. And let's go outside again. And let's go back inside. And that's it. One debt to society later. So I'm back again here enjoying the nature. Oh. And I've already showed you the capacity of the Black Shark Tree. But wait, there's more. Nani? I've put a def uh, separate videos on some resolutions of the Black Shark Tree or its capability it is even more powerful you can see or check the description below for the 1080p with 60 frames per second and 4k resolution yes it is 4k resolution with both 30 fps and 60 fps so please visit it to the description just then and i'm back i was also trying to see the resolution here of the camera of the black shark 3 with this kind of setting see that that's the only source of light here and let's see if we'll try to open it will happen that's it and i'll just close it again so we also want to show you the pictures that we have taken using the camera of this Black Shark 3. Let's go!
I also noticed that the camera takes some time to focus on a subject. It doesn't auto focus on that. Let's try to click it. I want to focus it to the wound. See? Click here. It's only the time that it focuses. But we will try it to another subject. Okay, go. It focuses fast. I don't know why. Maybe the phone is racist. <laughs> Let's try it one more time using my pen. It works now. I think the key here is that the subject must be near. Let's try it again. If it's that far, I think it doesn't focus the subject. Just need to manually was it. See, if it is really near, it will focus on the subject. We will test how fast is the facial recognition of the Black Shark 3. Test number 2. Flashback. We will try the performance of the Black Shark 3 with its torch and the setting is 1080p and 30 frames per second. This is the video quality with its torch on. Now we'll try to compare the performance of the Black Shark 3 to the performance of an iPhone 10. This is the 5 times zoom of the Black Shark 3. And now I'm using the iPhone. Let's test its maximum zoom. I've noticed that the camera of the Black Shark 3 makes the color vivid as compared to the iPhone 10. But when it comes to zooming, you can notice that the iPhone really performs more or better as compared to the Black Shark 3. Personally, if I were to choose between the iPhone 10 and the Black Shark 3, Booyah! definitely and honestly, I'll be choosing the camera performance of the iPhone. <coughs> what can we say? It's an iPhone and they really exert an effort when it comes to the camera performance of their cell phones or smartphones. And we will also try the durability of the Black Shark 3 by using the drop test. Joke! End of flashback. It's just sad that I can't utilize the 4K camera feature of the Black Shark 3. But if you're gonna ask me if I'll be using the Black Shark 3 on my succeeding vlogs, the answer is a yes. Because I don't need 
a high definition video for now because I'm still an amateur YouTuber. And by the way, I'm using the Black Shark 3 MVS video really with a setting of 1080p and 30 frames per second. So that's it. That's all for the camera of the Black Shark 3.